One of the options under consideration is the addition of one express lane in each direction from Cesar Chavez to Slaughter Lane, and part of that element is a direct connection into downtown. If you are traveling southbound on the Mopac Improvement Project once it's constructed, you could continue south on the Mopac Corridor with this one express lane that would be constructed. If you were traveling out of downtown and wanted to access the express lanes, you would have a direct connection from Cesar Chavez that would connect you directly into those southbound lanes. If you did not want to utilize the express lane, you would still have the option to travel on the existing ramps that are out there today. It would be a little bit of a slower connection based on the congestion that's seen at some of the intersections to access Mopac in the southbound direction. You would continue southbound on the express lanes past Bee Cave and Barton Skyway. If you were desiring to exit at Loop 360, there would be an exit in that area so that you could access Loop 360 or continue south on the corridor. Likewise, there's an entrance in the southbound location in the same vicinity for folks that are getting on from Bee Cave Road. In the northbound direction from Loop 360, you could enter the express lanes just north of 360 and travel all the way north on the Mopac Corridor, or if you were desiring to go downtown, you would have a direct connection into Cesar Chavez. We heard some public concern from Austin High School about the connection to Cesar Chavez and the ability of travelers to try to weave over those lanes to the ramp that connects to Austin High School. Based on that concern, we've extended the connection for the direct connector east a little further on Cesar Chavez so that travelers would not have the ability to weave over and exit at Austin High School. So taking the direct connector would connect you into Cesar Chavez in downtown, but not to Austin High School. Another important element of this option is that with the direct connector, it is elevated over Ladybird Lake. The new structure would be approximately 25 to 30 feet above the existing MOPAC bridges that are out there today. 